late afternoon after we've had a lot of rain for a few days storms it's uh, absolutely lovely weather this afternoon i've been painting all day uh, myself included uh, but i do need to duck over and grab some things so i thought seeing as it is a lovely afternoon i'd take the beaver uh, i thought while we're on the way I'll take you through a short field takeoff with the uh, wind straight down runway 18 there almost straight down it a couple of knots uh, so that'll be perfect and then maybe when we get across to Cessnock, we'll have a look at a one-wheel touch and go in the Beaver. Uh, I think I've done a video on that in the Cub and the Scout, uh, maybe even the J3 back in the day, uh, but never in the Beaver. So that should be some good fun. Uh, about to pull the prop through, on a walk around, on a fuel drain, and we'll get in, get fired up. Okay. Welcome aboard. I thought I'll uh, film the start because... Everyone loves to see the beaver start. Uh, the very first video I did of this aeroplane starting up is still my most viewed video to date. Okay, so trims, I'm going to cycle those through once once uh, we start the engine up, waiting for it to warm up, but I like to set them take off anyway, just so that uh, if I forget, the holes in the Swiss cheese don't line up. Oil filler is in, uh, firewall shut off is lock wired or witness wired car heat's cold the brakes on brakes on and we will wobble a bit of pressure up put the mixture rich sat for a bit so it takes a bit of getting the pressure up there we go and we will open the door unlock the primer and holding some pressure with the wobble pump give it a one Two and three in and locked. That is latched. Shut the door. Uh, we will go master on. We'll go the beacon on. We'll go the engine instruments on. One, two, three. This one lights on the accelerator pump. Just crack the throttle open so it lights off at a very low RPM. We're going to crank it through five blades to prime all the cylinders, and then we'll get the mags to both. We are all clear. Clear prop. What do you owe? One, two, three, four, five. Mags off. Oh, we missed it. We'll go mags off. One, two, three. A little bit more prime. Back. Cracked. Clear prop. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I think we got that one. There we go. There she comes. Not sure if you can see, but oil pressure come up, coming up into the green. Not all cylinders online yet. You can hear it start to light off as the rest of them come alive. I'm pretty confident it's going to keep running though. So we're going to start turning on the rest of our switches. We've got the alternator on, got the avionics master on, the audio panel, COM1, we don't need COM2. Engine instruments are on, flight instruments, nabs, and the pulse lights. And I'll check the circuit breaker is all in. Yep. Now to do those by feel. Here come some more cylinders. And I'll put my headset on so I can stop yelling. Ah, oh, house of serenity. There we go. That sounds like plenty of cylinders online. Set that one up. When it first lit off, probably can't see down to this cage down here, but the EGT was only showing about 200 degrees. Uh, slowly coming up now, we've just about to hit 500. Now uh, I'll flick across to the cylinders. So before we go run up, we're waiting for 200 degrees Fahrenheit on the cylinders and uh, above 50 on the oil temp. We'll cycle some of that cold oil out of the hub so that it warms up evenly with the rest of the oil. Such a low RPM, you don't hear the, the note change there. And we will sit here and run through our temp fish. So, trims, we will now roll all the way through its range of movement so that we know it is going to work for us. Hear the RPM pick up as the oil thins out, so the resistance on the crank 
piece of piece, rudder trim. Okay, that works, and we'll set it on the 45 degree dot for takeoff. Trims, mixture to come with the run up. Magnetos are on both, masters are on, propeller is full fine. Park brake will take off so we can roll over to the run up bay. Fuel, we're on the front, we'll take off on the front, but I'm going to taxi now on the centre, make sure it's feeding from that, and we'll go back to the front for the run up. Uh, make sure we get master propeller, park brake, fuel flaps. So, handles down, we'll set take off flap in a beaver by pumping it until with full aileron deflection, flap and aileron in line, in all flaps, instruments, we'll set 95 feet as our elevation here, we'll set our DI to our compass, uh, and that's about it, AH, we can set, but a little bit irrelevant, sitting on the ground with the tail down, instruments, switches are all on, controls, all free and correct sense, we can see the tail as well if we look through the back windows. And elevator up, elevator down, and hatches the harnesses secure. Okay, so temps are up sufficiently that we can taxi. We're sitting on concrete here, so it rolls quite easily. And with the higher pressure tyres, um, the bush tyres, they roll a bit easier on the on the uh, first taxi of the day. Okay, we're up to temperature, so we'll do a run up, park brakes on, but I'll cover the brakes anyway. Mixture is up, prop full fine. We're going to bring it up to 1600 RPM first. Temperatures and pressures are looking good. Oil pressure comes up with the power. Got the discharge light going out, showing that the alternator is charging. Up to our 1600. Cycle our prop three times, got an RPM drop, got a manifold pressure rise. Same again, and also checking the oil pressure drop and then rose. And another one. Okay, T's and P's are still good. I will shut them slightly so you can hear me. Up to 1750. And we'll do a mag check. That's all happy, and we'll bring it down and check the idle. Idle's nice and smooth. Okay, we'll lean that, and we'll catch it again with our fuel flaps trimmed tail wheel. Righto, we're going to taxi out and find ourselves a runway. I've changed my mind on runway 18. I can see some tyre tracks in there. And given we're probably heavier than whatever made the tyre tracks, uh, we uh, might not go onto the grass today. So we'll uh, head over to Cessnock. I always swing to the left if I can, so I drift to the right, and then give it some left rudder, touch a left brake, and a trickle of power, and it swings around on the spot. Use the slipstream to help us out. And I'll get straight with the runway. So, fuel is up there. I did do the run up on the centre, so I'm going to leave it on the centre, which is full. Fuel, flaps, handle is down, flaps are set. Trims are definitely set. And tail wheel, I can feel through the rudder pedals, is locked. Bit of a right crosswind, so we'll push the aileron over to the right, which means the left rudder required from the crosswind and the right rudder required for the engine. Probably nearly cancel each other out. T's and P's are still good. Bring it up to a max of 36 and a half inches. Don't make you get airborne when you dislike. Look at us go. Get a forward trim. And we'll knock that power off the stop. Back to 33.22 initially, and then straight back to 30.20, just to uh, look after the engine. And we'll bleed a bit of flap off, handle back down. Uh, that'll do us for our quick lap of 
across. Ball the nose of it. Played a bit more flat off. Handle down again. Like I said in previous videos, we always go handle down so that if we spit the engine, they flap in a hurry. We, uh, we pump it and it extends rather than retracts. Because the beaver wing practically needs to flap for, for every phase of flight. And we'll set our... Uh, we'll bring it back to 29, 29. As we only got about uh, 45 minutes of daylight left. Looks a little bit less given the cloud cover out to the west. Uh, another check of the oil temperatures and pressures before we depart, just in case we decided we needed to head back instead. Um, I'm afraid at that point I ran out of space for that particular camera. Uh, but I did get the outside view, I think. So I'll uh, try and talk you through that one and uh, see how we went. But it was good fun anyway. I hope you got a bit of enjoyment out of that. Uh, I got a bit of enjoyment out of it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if there's anything in particular you want a video on, any particular aircraft or something of that nature, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make it happen. Catch you next video.